You know, anyone who gives a gun a name like Supercharger is going to get my attention. And when it turns out to be a budget price pistol, then okay, you've got my attention. The Hatsan 25 Supercharger. <laughs> and welcome to AAR on Air. Today is the turn of a brake barrel pistol, which, if the name is anything to go by, is going to be a bit tasty. And the first thing to tell you is the price, because this comes in at a truly budget under £100 UK. Let's take a look at a few stats first, shall we? Although it is difficult to get past that price tag. The length of this is officially 508 millimeters or 20 inches, but that is if you have the included barrel extension fitted to aid cocking. With the standard end length, which is going to reduce it slightly to 458 millimeters or around 18 inches. The barrel length is 285 millimeters, or 11.2 inches in old speak. The one thing that you notice when you pick this up <laughs> is the weight. It's not for the slight of build or faint hearted. It tips the scales at 1.7 kilograms or 3.9 pounds. Blimey, I've shot rifles that weigh less than that. On the plus side, this does make this very stable to shoot and probably hints at the power output, which they claim to be as much as 700 feet per second in 177 and 600 feet per second in 22 caliber. Now, with figures like these, you can pretty much guess those relate to countries where they're not restricted to sub at six foot pounds as we are here in the UK. So this one should hopefully be firing a little less hot, but it could be close to the limit maybe. We will get it over to the chronograph a little later to test that out. The walk around then. This is all black and a mix of metal and what Hatsan call advanced polymer. At first glance, it does look like this is aimed at the target shooters out there with a whole host of sighting options. From the front end of the barrel, it has that option to fit the cocking extension piece or the standard length finish or muzzle cap. Or, of course, the fact that this is half inch UNF threaded gives you the option to add a silencer of your choice. Moving back from the muzzle end, we come to the front fibre optic open sight, which is height adjustable with the use of the wheel directly underneath. This matches up with the adjustable rear sights that are adjustable for elevation and windage with two matching fibre optic dots on the back. Now, if this is not your preferred option for sighting, then you can use the dovetail rail grooves that are running the length of the top for red dot or scope, etc. Do remember that this is a spring gun and will have a bit of a kick, so fit the correct scope type and fit it correctly. Again, a pistol scope is required, not a rifle scope. Below all this is that advanced polymer stock and grip. The grip is handed with its thumb resting shape and will come in right handed as standard unless you request a left handed grip. It is very comfortable with that ergonomic shape. The trigger is classed as the Quattro trigger and is a two-stage item and is fully adjustable. How do they put a pistol together with all these features for this money? The safety is in front of the trigger and is a push forward for fire and pull back for safe and automatically applies when you cock the pistol. Cocking this does take a little effort and you can see why they added the muzzle extension in the box. <sighs> Again, making me think it's going to be a belter when it comes to the power levels. Now normally that would be it for the walk around, 
But there's another really nice feature that needs to be mentioned here. The gun has a blowback or recoil system to take out some of that Springer kick. The grip section is basically sprung loaded. Blimey. Remember, we really don't want to see anything at or over six foot pounds. Well, using standard 8.44 grain pellets in this 177 calibre, it saw 551 feet per second, which is 5.69 foot pounds or 7.7 .7 joules. <laughs> Not bad at all. Right, time to get some additional sighting aid onto this and get it out at 10 metres to see what that rifled barrel can actually do. <laughs> rifled. Here goes. This is a real weighty item, but we'll give it a go. Oh, it doesn't have to take some effort. Surprisingly accurate for me. Well, that extra power does help keep the pellet flatter in trajectory and give some really rather pleasing results. Remember, this isn't an all out to heck with the price target pistol. It is less than three figures. I do get told sometimes wrongly, I feel, that I don't review budget guns. Well, you can't get much more budget than this one. And with features such as fully adjustable sights, front and rear, higher power output, a recoil system, a pretty decent accuracy, and the ability to accessorize it if you want to, if you want more than this for your four ponies, or a ton, or a fifth of a monkey, then you're a tough audience. There's going to be some guys wanting to look that up, aren't they? <laughs> this is great fun. Really great fun. Don't need any bottles. Don't need any CO2s. Straightforward elbow grease. That's all you need to keep the fun going. But you probably will finish it with tennis elbow because this has got some serious strength to it. Anyway, that's it. Not surprisingly, Mrs. AAR didn't get involved with this one. I don't think she could probably manage it. Anyway, that's it from me. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, click the alarm bell, share. Don't forget there's all the forums that you can join in with. There's the AAR website. And of course, the last couple of thank yous. Firstly, to the guys at Vector Air for getting hold of this and indeed pretty much all the guns I test. They must be getting ready for a bigger shop by now. The last thank you, as always, is to you guys for watching and sharing sharing your thoughts. I know I don't answer them all because I get well over a thousand a week and I wouldn't get the time to do the reviews. I'm getting something like two million hits a month, which is fabulous and it's all down to you guys, but it does make me a very busy boy. The last thing I need to say is please stay safe and shoot safe and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye for now.